Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to give you guys a flip through of the Africa unit from Gather Round. So stick around. As promised from Tuesday's video, I am going to give you guys a full flip through of the Africa unit. Now, you guys will notice here in the teacher's guide, I have these tabs here. Uh, that is from where I have planned and prepped for this video. So if you guys have been around, you know that this is a big deal. Um, and that video uh, I posted on Tuesday. I will have it linked up here or in the description or maybe both. Uh, yeah. Anyways, it will be linked for you. Um, so if you guys want to see kind of how I have planned for this unit, then you'll want to check that video out. But today I'm going to show you inside the teacher's guide. Uh, and then I also have the early reader notebook. So this is the level of student notebook that you guys will see. And then I'll also just quickly flip through the um, recipe book because we have it. So if you're interested in seeing maybe what's in there and if you want to uh, add that as like an extra, if you guys are planning on doing Africa, I'll show you what's in it. Um, so you guys can kind of get a little bit of an inside look in that. Um, without further ado, let's get into the flip through. All right. So first up, we are going to go through the teacher's guide. Now, keep in mind, this unit is a year one unit, so things are going to be very simple uh, and you're not going to see a lot of the, a lot of the same things in this unit that you see in some of the older units. I mean, there are some things that are similar, um, but there has been a lot of growth that has happened. Um, so yeah, you'll see that this is a much simpler uh, unit as we go through, but we still have the note to the teacher. Gather around difference. These are some ideas of what your pages will include. How long does it take? That kind of stuff. Here is your book list. Again, we have book lists, obviously, in current units. It just looks different. Um, it's simplified a little bit more. There's, it's just a little different, that's all. Okay, and then your planning pages. Uh, clearly, I did not use these. Maybe one day I'll get here, but yeah. Uh, and obviously, you don't have to print these out. For me, honestly, it's easier just to print them and just put them in here than it is to try and sit here for 10 minutes printing page one with page two. And then, it, yeah, it's a whole it's a whole thing. OK, so here we are in our table of contents, of course, like always, 20 lessons. And then we move into lesson one. Um, you still have your extension activities, so that is an important thing to note. Still beautiful pictures. Here is an activity break. I think maybe it's important to um, pay attention to the um, headings here also. So we have habitats and ecosystems, food, transportation, history, culture, and it looks like that's it for that um, just to kind of see if if those are the same topics that we're going to be covering in the other countries as well. And then here is your small um, day at a glance. Again, this looks very different as well. Okay, and then now we are on to lesson two. So just quickly, uh, extension activity, land and animals, food, history, and culture. Okay, so there are similar things. I will say this seems like not as much reading as some of the others. Some interesting facts. All right, we are just going to uh, skim through here and uh, let you guys check it out.
that was your teacher's guide. Now we are on to the student notebook. As always, I bind at the top. So that works really great for my daughter when we're actually doing uh, the notebook, um, but it doesn't work so great when I'm trying to do a flip through. So as always, just bear with me. Um, I will do the best that I can to kind of show you guys, but you know, this, is, this isn't a full overview. This is simply just show you, uh, you know, give, give you an idea of what is inside. So yes, we do have the early reader. That is the, the level that my daughter is currently in. <clears throat> so we'll turn the page here, just like a little note from Rebecca. Sheer scope and sequence. Your reading log. So like a lot of this stuff is not included in your books anymore. Um, a lot of this is found like just as an extra resource. Um, so you have access to it. It just doesn't automatically print with your um Books. Same with like the lesson planner pages and stuff. So uh, here is your table of contents. And then we are on to lesson one. So let me try and do this. Just kind of bear with me through lesson one. I'll just kind of, you know, flip back and forth and show you guys and then we'll just do a quick flip. Um, so this is your notebooking page uh, that they will complete kind of as you are uh, reading the lesson. Here is about the Sahara Desert. They This is um, directions on a diorama that they can make with cutouts in the back of the notebook. Here is just your Bible. So you're just copying a portion of Proverbs 31.9 there. Here you are practicing making a sentence. So this is going to be your grammar page. And then... Here is your missionary story, and this one is on David Livingstone. So you'll read about him, and then it gives you options for um, little rabbit trails and things that you can do there. And then we move back to lesson two with a notebooking page. So I am just going to quickly flip through and show you guys inside the early reader level. student notebook. Quickly, I'm going to show you the recipe book and just a couple of things to note uh, in the event that you are considering this. You do have your table of contents. Now, they do have it broken up into five weeks uh, with um, a recipe per country there. Um, so you can really kind of use it a variety of ways. Here's like a little note from Rebecca. And then for each week, they give you a grocery list. So that's really great. Uh, if you wanted to, you could just uh, make a copy of this. Well, you could write on this if you wanted to. Me being who I am, I would make a copy of this and take this to the store. And you can make sure you get everything you need for each of those weeks. Um, but, you know, you have freedom, obviously, to kind of do this however you want to. And then your recipes are pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, and I do like that they give you one for each country. So it just very simple. You know, this is something you totally can do with your younger students, which is what I am planning on doing. Obviously, I have a younger. Um, but yeah, we will just do, uh, we'll just kind of randomly pick. We are not going to follow any kind of specific order or anything like that. We're just gonna kind of pick what sounds good and make them. All right, and there is your recipe book. All right, so there is your flip through. Um, a couple of things to note. Like I said, this is a year one unit. Um, and so, yeah, the, 
things are, are different uh, in this one. We're kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say we're going backwards, but like we kind of are going backwards because a, a lot of the units we did last school year were some of the more current units. And so we are used to more of the like a longer teacher's guide where we're, we are used to a little bit more of a robust unit study. So I'm interested to see how we do with this one. Uh, I, quite honestly, I think it may be a nice break for us. Um, I, I think maybe because I, I actually got it together and kind of plan and prep some of the fun extra things for this unit, I think maybe we'll actually be able to enjoy it because it won't be so robust. You know what I mean? I, I feel like maybe it'll just be kind of a, a fun, easy one to kind of ease us into the new school year. And so I really am looking forward to it. We've been looking forward to Africa for a while. We tried to do it before with Ready to Read and, and that didn't work out. So we've had it on our list for a while. We've got some fun extra things to do. And so I... I'm really looking forward to this one. Now, if you are not sure about Gather Round or if you um, are interested in maybe trying Gather Round, but you're just, you don't know what level to place your students or anything like that, I believe Africa is still listed as one of the free samples on the website. Um, and I think there's a couple other options um, for topic options as well. Uh, maybe, maybe South America too. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I know Africa was there. Um, but anyway, that's a good place to start. Go get a free sample. It's for one week. You can get all of the levels. You can try them all, figure out which one is going to be best for you and your students or students. Um, yeah. And so that I, I would suggest doing that. Um, but other than that, that is all I have for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.